When we add heat to a liquid, movement of liquid particles increases. In the liquid phase, particles still stay together because of strong intermolecular force. As we add more and more heat, vibration of particles starts dominating and at boiling point, it takes over the, the molecular force. As a result, liquid particles become free to move around and liquid starts becoming gas. This process is also called vaporization. Vaporization of liquid takes place on addition of heat and at temperature above the boiling point. You must have dried your cloth in sunny days. In India, maximum temperature during summer goes around 40 to 45 degrees centigrade which is way below than boiling point of water. But water disappears from our clothes when kept in sunlight. Have you wondered how this happens? Water disappears from our clothes way below 100 degree centigrade because of evaporation. To understand it, let's analyze the top layer of water in a glass. Water particles on top layer have no water particles above them and they are loosely attached compared to particles at depth. After gaining sufficient energy, these surface molecules sometimes detaches from surface and become free. Sometimes, collision of air particles detach them from surface. As they detach, they become free and become part of air. Such way of conversion from liquid to gas is called evaporation. Our clothes get dry because of evaporation. Water level in pond and lakes gets reduced because of evaporation. Sweat from our skin gets dry because of evaporation. As sweat molecules are removed from skin, new sweat particles come out and bring heat with them. While sweating, you must have felt cold in front of a fan. This happens because sweat gets evaporated fast which results in fast heat loss from body. You must have seen that under the fan clothes dry fast. This happens because fast-moving air particles collide with water particles on surface of clothes and remove them from cloth.